Thank you. You know, a lot of students went back to school today and it wasn't that hot, but boy, when they come home in the afternoon, it is going to be uncomfortable. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar spoke with Clay County school officials about what they are doing to keep students and teachers cool and healthy. Because of this extreme heat, students will have very limited time outside in the heat if they come outside at all for activities like recess. If they do come out, though, schools are going to try to have the students under shaded areas just like here in this outdoor court. If possible, teachers will try to keep students in cool hallways while they wait for the school bus. Or if schools have shaded and covered walkways, they can wait there for after dismissal. Bryce Ellis is the assistant superintendent of operations for Clay County Schools. Ellis says the plan is to make sure the automated air conditioning timers inside every school is set to activate early in the mornings, well before these students arrive to start their days, so it's cool and comfortable by the time they get here. There are 1,100 portable air conditioners for schools in the district. If teachers are having problems with them, their classes can go into libraries or to cafeterias to cool down. It's Florida. It's Florida in the summer. It's hot. I mean, I get it. And it's, you know, with these heat advisories, 109, 110 degrees, um, it's just for the safety of the kids and the staff. To have an enjoyable start to the school year while also beating the heat. Reporting in Clay County, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.